Hi, I'm Louisa Tam. Every week, I write a column called Blowing Water to look at all things Hong Kong and the Cantonese culture. This week, let's visit Taiwan. On a recent trip to Taipei, I got there quite late, almost after midnight. And I got there, I realized that my passport was out of date. And I thought, wow, oh, this is a trouble. Because after midnight, there's nobody at the visa office. But I had to get a visa. I got there, there was a lady there. The lady there was so polite. She helped me for everything, every document I needed, and also tried to get a passport for me. I said, no worries, I just need a, a visa, and I can go. I finally landed home about two o'clock in the morning. My cousin wasn't impressed. I told her what happened, and I was praising the politeness of the staff at the airport. She looked at me, she said, you've been away too long, cousin. Chinese people are very good at being fake. I said, what do you mean? She said, well, because we don't want to look uncivilized. We try to be nice to everybody 24-7. I asked her what she thought about Hong Kong people. And she said in Mandarin, 真的很真, good at being real. I said, what do you mean? Are we rude? She goes, well, maybe, but at least they're not trying to be fake. And then she says, nobody can be that nice 24-7. There's got to be something not real about it. I said, okay. It might seem like a backhanded compliment, but I can assure you, my cousin loves Hong Kong. To a point that she even changed her last name from Kuo to Kwok. Can you imagine that? Okay, a lot of people from Hong Kong are living in Taipei now, about 21,000 altogether. I think we can change the culture a little bit. We can have a little bit mix and match. Hong Kong people can bring a bit of culture there by being really real, but not exactly rude, kind of real, but nicer. And the Taiwanese people can learn to be a bit more genuine at being nice. I think we can meet somewhere in the middle.